Good afternoon and welcome everyone um, to this afternoon's session on driving marketing performance with video brought to you by Goose Digital and Inverted Taco. So our quick agenda for today's short session, we're gonna talk a little bit about consumer expectations in 2021. Um, and then we'll talk about what growth marketing for broker, brokers looks like in this current environment. And then we'll talk about the power of content. And obviously the, the content we're focusing on today is on video. And then we're gonna share a couple of videos with you and discuss how brokers can use videos to drive marketing performance. I'm Robin Kroll, and I lead our customer insights practice at Goose Digital, I'm joined today by my colleague, Jen Pugsley. Jen leads our customer success team and our partner at Inverter Taco, Amr Hasham, who is the managing director. So a bit about Goose Digital. We are Canada's leading marketing automation agency, and we specialize in insurance. Our expertise spans across the world's best marketing automation platforms, where we're able to help brokers, carriers, and MGAs strategically plan and execute profitable digital marketing. We believe that the marketing automation platform is at the center of all modern marketing departments and is fundamental in executing a successful digital marketing strategy. In addition to insurance, we do work with customers in other industries, including financial services, technology, and manufacturing. And this allows us to bring other best practices and innovations into the insurance industry. So I'll allow, um, ask Amr to introduce Inverted Taco. Thank you very much, Robin. Hi, everyone. My name is Amr, and I'm from Inverted Taco. Um, so we're a multifaceted production company made up of award-winning filmmakers, writers, actors, and producers. Um, we've produced over 250 ads and we specialize in what we like to call data-driven ads. Um, so we take a strategic approach that combines performance marketing and branding to drive conversions. Uh, the core of our production philosophy is to consult, create, produce, and iterate. And by iterate, I mean that we produce a volume of variations um, of videos to test out what works best. And this informs our strategic marketing decisions down the line, which is exactly why we partnered up with the team at at Goose Digital. Um, we've also been able to achieve economies of scale through a very lean production model, um, which allows us to service businesses at all stages of growth. And it allows us to bring our fixed costs down so we can pr produce cinematic quality ads at an affordable rate. Um, thank you, Robin. I'm gonna pass it over to you again. Great, thank you. So we've heard it many times over the last 18 plus months. COVID has changed the insurance industry and how consumers expect to be sold and serviced. But what does that mean for brokers today, tomorrow and beyond? Well, consumers have become more comfortable with researching, shopping around, negotiating, buying and being serviced through digital tools. This may have started with groceries and toilet paper, but as consumers became more comfortable with digital in general, they moved on to bigger ticket items and more complex product and services, things that we never thought was poss were possible through digital channels. Think about buying and selling homes, complex uh, financial transactions, and of course, insurance. And this behavior shift even included more hesitant and reluctant digital adopters. We're not saying that insurance customers all want to have a fully end-to-end -end experience that's only digital. And in fact, there's a lot of evidence out there that that's not what they want. But what is certain is that most insurance customers, that for at least part of their journey, they will be using a digital channel. What we do know for certain is that customers expect experiences that speak clearly to them as individuals. They seek, they seek personalized engagements that are relevant to who they are and what they are trying to achieve. Insurance customers have always been looking for peace of mind or ways to mitigate risk. So meaning that they want reassurance that their brand new basement renovations will be fully covered in the event of a flood or if they're hit by a cyber attack, that their broker will help manage the, the risk and the reputation and support their business during any downtime. But expectations are not being met by most insurance providers. The causes? Well, a lack of understanding of what consumers actually expect and what they need, not having a, um, a marketing strategy in place that can help drive real growth, and not having the right technology platform to enable a sophisticated and personalized communication plan at scale. So these change, So what does that mean for growth marketing? 
students. Okay. So what does this mean for growth marketing? The changes have been more nuanced, but they've been very important. So brokers have always been focused on knowing their customers, but today the emphasis is on understanding the customer persona. So understanding what the persona's priorities are, what matters to them when choosing coverage for their home or their business, how, where, and why they research coverage, ask questions, make decisions, and the expectations they have from their insurance provider. A broker's competition is no longer just an other insurance providers, but the last great experience a customer had, with, whether it's with a, a shop, a retailer, a bank, or a manufacturer, someone who made their path to purchase easy and who provided the information, product, or service that they wanted and expected in a manner that they wanted and expected. Brokers have always played a unique role in the insurer-insured triangulation and understood that relationships were important, but today relationships are everything. Many consumers still find coverage confusing, language complex, and struggle to see the difference between competing products, but they do see the difference in people and value. So when brokers are able to communicate the unique brand values, it's easier for the insurance customer to see what makes them different and use, different and use that in their decision-making process. And with these slight but important shifts, marketing has moved from important to absolutely essential. Thanks, Robin. Um, okay, so how can brokers incorporate uh, these nuanced shifts and truly engage with the end consumer? The answer is with great content and the right platform. This means being able to communicate what makes you what makes you as a broker unique, provide thought leadership and guidance that helps build those long lasting relationships. Many of us tend to think of content as uh, words and images, and it's actually far more than that. It's about the stories you tell about the people you've helped. It means finding ways to overcome the hurdle of complex insurance wording and impersonal logistics and being able to speak to how you provide comfort, clarity, and an ultimately a promise. We've all heard that content is king, um, that couldn't be more relevant today than it was when it was first said many years ago. However, it's great content that will set you apart and cut through all of the clutter in today's distracting world. 83% of professional marketers consider video marketing one of the most important tools to promote and advertise products and services. For videos to be truly affected, uh, effective today, though, companies must stay on top of the latest video marketing trends and best practices. With that, I'm now going to hand off to our very talented partner, Amara at Invertitaco. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Um, all right, guys, I'm gonna we're gonna play a couple of videos for you just to show the kind of uh, work that we've been doing recently. Um, so on the, the one on the left here is a short ad that we did for Coinbase. <laughs> And then the video on the right is for a company called Curated. Then we can move on to uh, the next slide. I have one more video to play for you guys. And that's the one on the left for our Bella Insurance. I used to be an investment banker, but now I have a little more fun. Yeah, he does. He sure does. We all do. <laughs> fantastic. Thank you very much, Robin. We can move on to the next slide now. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, so after you guys have already watched those videos, you might be thinking, you know, this looks expensive. Um, well, traditionally, Commercials used to be expensive. They used to be harder to produce and time consuming. And they were reserved for the wealthiest and largest companies. You'd invest a lot of money in one video asset and it might not necessarily convert or generate the return on investment that was anticipated. It was a lot riskier. But because of technological advancements and improved access to talent and resources, that is no longer the case. We focus on producing a variety of cinematic quality ads at a very affordable rate. Um, here's a couple of statistics that underscore the importance of video in today's digital climate. Um, so 66% of customers prefer watching a video to reading about a product, and 84% of folks say that they purchase a product or service because of a video. 
We also know that by 2022, online videos will make up more than 82% of all customer internet traffic, which is up 15% from 2017. What this tells us is that this, this is not a passing phase. This is how people consume content now. And in order to compete, in, in a hyper competitive insurance industry, video has to be a part of your strategy. It is no longer a luxury, but an internal cog in your marketing machine. Um, consider the amount of you know, data and information that we absorb on a daily basis as we scroll endlessly through our social feeds and online. Um, your content has to stand out and catch people's attention within the first few seconds to stop the scroll. Um, these videos are typically shorter in length and cater to, to, to that ever deteriorating attention span. Um, so we know, you know, you know going back to, to, to Robin's point on the inefficiencies in the insurance market and the confusion on the consumer side, um, you have to sort of put yourself in the consumer's shoes and wonder, you know, why would the consumer call this broker or this insurance company over the next one? Well, if you have a well-produced video that solves a pain point for them or communicates valuable information that alleviates that, uh, you know, that confusion, or you tell your story in, a, in a, whether it's a comedic way or an emotional manner that connects with them, then you have a fighting chance. Um, our approach to video always starts with answering two key questions. Who's it for and what's it for? This allows us to build an avatar that informs our understanding of the consumer's worldview. Um, and then uh, subsequently you create video content that is tailored for each client and the platform that they use. Um, to cap this off, um, I always you know, use like a, a real world or, or like a physical world analogy that you know, if you invest in a beautiful brick and mortar store, but it's in the middle of nowhere, then no one gets to see it. And the same applies to your videos and your website and your digital presence. Um, that's why it's essential after we produce those video assets that um, they're passed over to the team at Deuce Digital to get the most uh, return out of them. Um, so after this session is done, I just like you to ask yourself, um, first off, to, to assess your current digital strategy and ask yourself whether your online performance or presence stands out and are you giving your potential customers the information they seek? Um, and yeah, that's, that, that's it for me. Um, thank you very much for listening. I'm gonna pass it back over to, to the Goose team. Thanks, Amr. Um, yeah, so just to bring this kind of full circle before we answer some questions, uh, just to, to reiterate what Amr was saying, video is no longer a tactic that is available for large insurance providers. It's affordable and can be delivered quickly. Whether you're looking to increase brand awareness with a video that tells you a unique story of your brokerage or short batch type videos that are more focused on a direct pain points from your customers and how you've helped solve these pain points over the years, uh, video will do just that. And when managed through a marketing automation platform, you can track the impact your videos are having with your ideal audience. If you're interested in telling amazing stories through video, drop your uh, address in the chat or your email address in the chat or contact us directly at sales at goosedigital.com and we will give you a, a copy of this presentation. Thanks everyone. Awesome. Uh, thanks guys. It's Danny Ott from the um, IBAO board. I just want to thank you this afternoon for being out there and giving us this great presentation. Thanks, Dan. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. And, and we, we see a couple of questions here, guys, on the side. Um, the first off is whether our website displays examples of our work. Yes, you'll find our demo reel on our website, and it, it's pretty comprehensive and has a lot of our work. But once you reach out to Goose Digital, we can also send you a customized deck that has a lot of our most recent projects. Um, Another question is, I have heard about video content that you should start, just start doing it and get better as you go. Do you agree with that advice? Why or why not? Um, I, I'll have to disagree with that one because there has to be a strategy behind it and there has to be sort of a tailored approach uh, um, uh, to reach your potential target demo. Unless you're producing short, maybe TikTok ads or, or videos of yourself communicating valuable information as a thought leader, then you can definitely produce that at home. But if you're trying to produce a commercial that discusses or targets specific folks, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube, um, or just traffic incoming into your website, if it's professionally done and with a marketing strategy behind it, then it'll be a lot more effective. So I would suggest maybe doing short videos of yourself communicating valuable advice, but for actual commercial work, um, we'd be happy to consult with you on that. Thank you very much for your time, guys.